API description, the final frontier. These are the voyages of a Starship Open API. Its mission to describe strange APIs, to accelerate and secure their creations and their evolution, to boldly go where almost no one has gone before. Hello, everyone. I'm uh, before engaging the Open API Starship Warp Drive. Let me introduce myself. I'm Arnaud Loré. I'm an architect at AXA Bank. It's a French uh, bank. I work mainly on API projects, but I'm also known as the API handyman, the guy who wears lightsabers, funny t shirts, and shares his ideas about API uh, on Twitter, blog, and conferences. I'm working on a new project called the API Stylebook. Uh, it's a website in which I'm gathering and analyzing all publicly available API design guidelines to provide uh, categorized useful materials for API designers. So if you know about some uh, API guidelines which is not on the API Stylebook, don't hesitate to tell me. Fastness. It means being fast, but also being secured. API fastness is probably what every API provider aims to, being able to deliver API quickly, but securely. How to achieve API fastness? This is what we're going to see now. Have you ever heard about the Open API Initiative or the Open API Specification? Not so many people. Well, <laughs> if you don't, you probably already have seen such thing. This is Swagger UI. This is an API documentation tool. And for many people, it's only documentation which is generated from your code. And for many people, it's an end in itself. These people are making a terrible mistake. I made it myself, too. Not seeing what is hiding behind Swagger UI is a terrible mistake. Swagger UI hides the secret of API fastness. Swagger UI is only the rendering of a file, an API description file. Until a year ago, uh, this was called a Swagger specification. The Swagger specification is a part of the Swagger ecosystem created by Tony Tam. It includes a code annotation library, code generation tools, and documentation tools. In November 2015, the Swagger specification has been donated to the newly created OpenAPI initiative. It's an open governance structure under the Linux Foundation with many well-known members. The Open API Initiative aims to create and evolve and promote a vendor-neutral uh, API description format, the Open API specification. To make it short, the Open API specification is today the Swagger specification. The Open API specification universe extends way beyond generated documentation. It's boundless. The Open API specification can be used to accelerate and secure API creation and evolution. It can be used to achieve API fastness. Let's leave the space doc and see how that can be done. A beginning is a very delicate time, especially for an API. Whether an API is internal or external, its design is crucial. A bad design can lead to a total disaster. It can kill projects and even companies. It can simply be a matter of incorrect parameters or response description, a missing endpoint that will seriously hamper developers uh, during the implementation, delaying the project. It may even annoy consumers if not detected early enough. The resulting API can be unsecure by unexpectedly exposing sensitive data or giving too much discretion to consumers. An API can be totally unusable, leading to poor consumer engagement. And even if correct, secure, and usable, 
The resulting API design may not comply with design guidelines, introducing too much uh, inconsistency, which can be a real problem in any organization of any size. And it's all fully expensive and time consuming to modify API design after implementation. Word processor documents, spreadsheet documents, wiki pages, using only such things to describe an API during its design time is the first step toward such disaster. Such tools usually don't allow to control deeply the content of a document because it's not machine readable. And it can only lead to inconsistent, incomplete, and unusable APIs. An open API specification file is a structured file describing an API. This file can be created by machines, programs, but also humans, Vulcans, Klingons, and even Gaunts. A structured file describing an API that can be created by humans and used by machines. Mr. Spock finds that fascinating. Mr. Spock is right, but is really far from the truth. This is also. Let's use it to describe APIs instead of using these crappy, unstructured wiki pages. The open API specification allows to describe easily and efficiently an API. Path parameters, response properties, every single aspect can be described easily in a simple but structured document. No more dump errors. You can check that your open API file does not contain things like a missing parameter using the editor or command line tools. As it is a structured document, it lessens the risk of having big variation from one document to another. If a new version of format comes out, no problem. You can convert existing document easily as it is a machine readable document. Note that the open API file comes into four format, JSON or YAML. As a human API designer, I encourage you to use uh, YAML. No brackets, no quotes, definitely easier and faster to read and write. And it's easy to convert uh, back and forth if necessary. But describing an API, even in a structured document that can be validated to check it conforms to the open API specification, do not help you to see if everything is really OK. A missing endpoint, awkward chaining calls, missing data between these chaining calls. Being able to play with your newly designed API without having to do anything would be great. You can do that. You can create a mock of your API with a simple command line. Here, Mr. Spock is using uh, Prism by stoplight.io. You can then test your API. Some other people can do it too, and it will give you really useful feedback on its usability and data security. And now something more experimental. How to ensure that all open API specifications are written the same way? How to be sure that all API conforms to design rules? How to check that sensitive data are not exposed? At last API days in Paris, we had a great conversation with Guillaume Laforge and Jason Harmon and about how to ensure a certain consistency in API design. And Jason Harmon uh, told us he was working on a tool called Swagger API Check Style that you can find on his uh, GitHub account. And this tool allows to define some conventions when uh, writing uh, open API files to enforce some rules uh, concerning design. This is a great idea. After thinking about it, maybe a little too much, I think we can push it further. My dream would be to have many checking, just like checking how the open API file is written, like you do with code, how the file is organized, basic naming convention, making optional fields mandatory, and also check if the API design conforms to API design guidelines. HTTP status, parameters, and response structure, URL structure, respect of naming convention, like the use of plural nouns for collection, forbidden the, the use of verbs. And we could also check names and description to seek if this API exposes sensitive data. And finally, an important thing, we can check if there are some breaking change. When evolving an API, avoiding breaking chains is an important matter for API providers. You, you do that by simply comparing 
the two files. So using the Open API specification, we can have a design time which is shorter, more efficient, more controlled, and more secure. This is API fastness. But API design is not the only area where the Open API specification uh, helps us to achieve uh, API fastness. Whether created by humans or machines, the Open API specification can also be used to create documentation. But be warned that when providing API documentation, only providing a documentation which is a simple description of an interface contract is not sufficient. An open API specification file can contain a lot of information and description about the API itself, each operation parameters, response properties, but that may not be sufficient to describe how to use it. Once that said, an open API specification file can be a great help to create API documentation. You can consider it as a data source that can be rendered in many different ways from static documentation to fully interactive documentation without do doing anything else than creating an open API file. Swagger UI is the most known, but there are many other tools like uh, Lucyboc, Redoc, Rdoc, Redoc, uh, again, Swagger to Markup and many other. The open API specification files enable also the creation of a documentation continuous delivery system where documentation becomes code. These files can be stored in a Git repository and processed by a continuous delivery system uh, to be checked and then transformed into something else or simply pushed to the API documentation portal on each commit. The control we have seen on design time can be applied automatically during this process, quality check, API design, uh, conformity, breaking change conf uh, verification, and we can even imagine having more documentation specific controls. We could check that the documentation uh, quality and consistency is okay by analyzing the vocabulary and text pattern used in all descriptions. Consumer documentation is not the only documentation you need when you provide API. The people who build and run the, and run the API need documentation too. A very interesting thing uh, is that the Open API specification can be extended. You can add your own custom uh, data into uh, the file. You only need to uh, prefix your data structure name by x dash, so the parser will not take care of them. And this additional data uh, have tremendous potential for internal documentation. While building the API or running it, you can describe internal business logic, uh, explain which microservice hides behind operation, and many other possibilities. The only limit is your imagination. You can also use these extensions for external documentation. At Axabank, we have created our own extensions. For example, we have a central dictionary describing some things like uh, product codes and so on. And during the creation of the, the building of the documentation, we retrieve this value from uh, our central dictionary to inject it in the open API files based on an extension uh, property naming the dictionary. And for many reasons, the open API files created during design time or produced by the application exposing the API may not be suitable for a direct presentation to developers who will use it. An API can be based on multiple microservices, uh, may expose administrative endpoints. Um, to ease uh, reading and writing, you may have created uh, many smaller files. You may have added some custom informations that you want to be processed or removed. You may also want to produce different type of documentation, internal documentation showing all the details, external documentation showing less details. And so during the continuous delivery process, the open API files can be aggregated, split, transformed, and censored to generate new files, which can be used to generate different and accurate documentation adapted to the different audiences. So creating easily relevant documentation for different audiences from a single source of truth is easy. This is API fastness. And documentation is not the only thing that can be generated. You can generate code. 
Open API files can be used to generate server or client code in any programming language. You can create SDKs, client libraries, server skeletons with a single command line. You can use tools such as uh, Swagger Node or Swagger Inflector, which uh, accelerates development of API implementations. One of the areas of code generation I'm particularly interested in these days is testing. Uh, you can generate tests that will ensure that your uh, description of your API, which was created during this end time, and your implementation are synchronized. With tools like uh, Dread or Ready API, you can generate this test and include them in your uh, continuous integration process to check that everything is okay and avoid pushing in production things that were not uh, uh, conformed to the specification. So with the Open API specification, you can build implementation faster and conforming to the to specification, securing the whole process. This is API fastness. Many open source and commercial tools support Open API files. These tools can cover uh, many different areas in the API universe. Design with Stoplight, Swagger Hub, Swagger Editor, RESTlet Studios, testing with tools like Postman, Pool, Dread, monitoring with RunScope, documentation with Lucibot Console, Ardox, Stoplight, Redox, Swagger Hub, uh, code generation with API Matic, Swagger Inflector, Swagger Code Gen, backend as a service with RESTlet API Spark, API gateways like Freescale, APG, Tick, or Amazon Web Services. I don't get any money uh, when I say all that. Um, so many tools. And all of these tools can import or export open API specification file. And some of them even use extension. This is definitely useful. For example, with the uh, Amazon API gateway. If you, are, if you have uh, used this gateway, you know that the UI to describe your API is not really user friendly. You can import all this uh, with a single open API file. So your whole API is configured in the uh, gateway. You can then configure, for example, if you use Lambda functions, you can configure them behind all your endpoints. And then you can export uh, a new open API file containing the AWS extensions, describing all the configuration. You can store it in your uh, Git and modify it to create new environments. And there are many other possibilities. So, by simplifying the use of API software, again, the open API specification, help us to achieve API fastness. Design, documentation, code generation, security governance, deployment tools, and many other things. The open API specification can be used in almost every aspect of the API universe to accelerate and secure API creation and evolution to achieve API fastness. So if you design documents, test API, develop API, use the Open API specification, it will make your life easier. If you provide APIs or if you uh, lead API programs, promote the use of Open API specification, it will be a key factor of your success. And if you are an API tooling editor, extensively use the Open API specification, your millions of future customers will thank you for that. So use the Open API specification to live long and prosper. Thank you. <laughs>